Once you create your account, you will need to sign in and create your profile. You will need to use the username and password used to create your account. After your first time signing in, a prompt will ask you if you wish to create a new profile. Select Yes. When the page loads, you will enter your information. Note that anything with a red asterisk is required to create your profile. Fields without a red asterisk are optional. Additionally, any section that is collapsed can be expanded. Just click the plus sign to the right side of the section tile, starting with your personal info. Enter the type of customer you are establishing your profile for, company, individual, or non-individual. Then, select the appropriate title if applicable. You can enter a suffix along with your preferred name, date of birth, and gender. If you establish the customer type as company, you will be provided an option to enter the company name instead of individual first and last name. Next, enter your address and phone number. You can also enter the following optional information, occupation, organization, tax type, tax ID, driver's license, areas of interest, and preferred languages. In this section, you will establish and answer your security questions. Select your first secret question and enter the appropriate answer in the answer one field. Do the same for your second secret question. Below this section, you have the option to enter a payment method or methods. Click add, then enter your credit card or debit card information along with the billing address. You can select apply to add this card or apply and add to add this card and keep the maintain credit card section open to add another payment method. Next, you have the options to enter account access. This section allows you to associate AQH ID numbers to your profile for access to business transactions, List the people who have access to your membership, meaning their AQH ID numbers may be linked to profile for business transactions, or you can select a default ID for online work. To associate an ID, click the Add option. A field will result below the grid for you to enter the ID number. Select Next. Two secret questions will come up. Once you have supplied the correct answers, select Apply. If one or more of the answers are incorrect, you will receive a red error at the top of the page because the answers provided for the secret questions do not match our records. The error will need to be repaired to continue linking the ID number, but if the answers are correct, the information will load in the account access grid. You can continue to add IDs and answer security questions as needed and set the appropriate primary ID number. Below this grid, you can view any user accounts that have associated your membership to their online accounts and have been granted account access. You can maintain these by removing any user accounts that should no longer be associated. To remove a user from having access to your membership, you would select the name by selecting the check mark to the left of the name and clicking Remove to remove their access. Once you have associated all the appropriate ID numbers and removed any, if applicable, click Save. Once successful, all information entered, including associated ID numbers, will be added to your profile. Your default ID number will display to the right of your username so that you can conduct AQHA business.